on the ISS. Hi Captain, well we do get some days off for holidays, uh, Christmas Day and New Year's Day for example, uh, but mostly uh, we work up here during the holidays, but it's nice to be able to you know, look at the news and maybe look at social media and uh, engage with people who are enjoying the holidays back down on Earth, over. When the astronauts get weekends so how do you spend your weekends? Hi Erica, well you know the weekends we still have quite a lot to do, we have to clean the whole space station so we get the vacuum cleaner out and the wet wipes and we make sure that it's clean and tidy. Uh, we also have some conferences at the weekend, uh, but we do get a chance to do some photographs, uh, to talk to people on the telephone or social media, um, or even just to uh, play a musical instrument for example if that's what you like, there's a guitar and a keyboard up here, over. Are you getting it? No, I didn't get it. Hmm. I, yes, I was very fortunate. I got to do a spacewalk uh, early on in the mission, and it was my first spacewalk. It was absolutely incredible, a very memorable experience. Um, it felt amazing to be outside in the vacuum of space, um, and at one moment looking down on the planet, and then the next moment looking out into the darkness of space. So it makes you feel very isolated and quite humbly, quite a humbling experience. Over. Should be max elevation right now. Almost. Three. Hi, Obum. Uh, that's a great question. You know, the biggest challenge for me, I think, is microgravity. It's great fun, uh, microgravity, but it's also quite a challenge. Uh, it's very, very easy to lose things, so you have to always be very careful about putting things down onto Velcro so it doesn't float away. Over. up here in, in terms of first aid, but we've also got some 
great doctors back on Earth who would help us treat any injury like that. And it should heal uh, pretty well up here, good enough to go back to Earth. Over. Does microgravity affect snoring? Hi CJ, uh, you know we sleep pretty good up here so I can't really tell you whether I snore or not. But um, I, think, I think it would be very hard to snore in microgravity because everything would just float. And I think gravity is one of those things that, that causes snoring. Over. Do you grow plants or food on the ISS? If so, how is that done? I may said yes, we've just finished growing some, uh, some plants up here, some flowers in fact, uh, which are edible flowers. Um, and we did that in a small greenhouse that's right in front of me in fact, um, using artificial ultraviolet light and then just watering it with nutrients. Uh, so we're investigating how we can grow things for a mission to Mars that we can eat. Over. Have a totally different aim than you. What are some of your favorite sites from the ISS? You know, my favorite sites, two of them, are thunderstorms at night. I, I think it's amazing to see how big these thunderstorms are at night on our planet, and also the aurora, uh, which is just stunningly beautiful as well. Beautiful green auroras to watch. Over. Does the ISS search for alien life? If so, have you discovered any signs of it? Hi Luke, that's a good question. You know, we're not searching for alien life up here on the space station, but we are trying to see if life can exist in space. And outside the space station, we have some experiments running where we've got uh, microbes and we've got single cell life forms and viruses, for example, which we're seeing if they can uh, withstand the vacuum and the temperatures that are out in space. Over. What is it like living with astronauts from different countries? Do you have anything in common?
exist. <laughs>